Today I was asked by a teacher to walk him through quizzes and to show how we can take assignments that are already created by other educators, pull those assignments so that we can make a copy for ourselves, and then add extra questions to it for bell ringers, tickets in the door, do it nows, or tickets out the door. Let me show you how to do it very quickly in this video. Hit those like and subscribe buttons to help the channel out and let's get learning. So I'm at quizzes.com, quizizz.com. And to sign up, I'm just going to click on the upper right hand corner where it says sign up. I'm gonna continue with Google and I'm going to choose the email address that goes with my school district. Now, the teacher that I was working with, it works with students that are in a welding class. And so this worked out great. Couldn't actually believe that welding was a part of quizzes. But there are so many different topics that are already done by different teachers that you have to use because it's just a great tool to use for teachers. It's invaluable because things are already created for you and you can customize it. Once we find one that we like, we click on it. And now I can go ahead and click here where it says copy and edit. This is making my own copy of the quiz that I liked. This has 20 to 21 questions in it. Each one of these questions I can go ahead and delete or change the answers or change the text if I want to. The way to do that is just click on the edit button of the question. The question will pop up. You can add more answers if you want by clicking the plus sign on the right hand side. You can have more than one correct answer by toggling on the toggle that's in the bottom left. You can change the time and you can put tags on it if you want to as well. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and click save. Now what we did was we kept all of the questions that happened to be in this test. But if we wanted to get rid of one, let's say 21 doesn't go along with our quiz, all we do is click the trash button that's on the right-hand side of that question and it will delete the question. Quick pop-up says, are you sure? Yes, we want to delete it. Now, this was going to be a ticket in the door for this teacher. So I said to him, about 30 seconds a question, that's about 10 minutes. We wanted a little bit longer because this was a transition time during the day. So he wanted to add more questions than just 20. So one of the nice pieces of this is we're gonna go up to the top and we're going to we're going to click on the search from millions of questions, the teleport from the quizzes library. We're gonna search for welding symbols. And you can see many of them come up. I'm looking at the question numbers. There's eight here, there's 14 here. So you just look at those little gray numbers. There's 20 here. So I wanna take a look at these questions and see if I wanna add them all or what specific questions I'd like to add. I'd like to get probably about 10 more. So if I wanted to add all 20 questions after I looked at them, I could click on this button here that will add all 20 to my existing quiz, or I can choose them one by one. So if I like this first question, I hit add question. It moves it over with that white little dot. And you can see that I could add it again if I want to. I'm just gonna keep going through. I'm gonna add probably three to four more questions. Okay, once I'm set with that, I'm going to click the X in the top left of this window and that will go away. And now I'm able to see that I have, oh, I have 27 questions, so that's fine. That'll work out perfect for this first quiz that we're going to give. Once I'm finished, I'm gonna to go to the top right-hand corner and click save. Basic welding principles is the title of this, but if I did want to go ahead and edit that title, I can click on edit, click on the pencil icon that is to the right, and I can change the name of the quiz if I want to. Now, this is not going to be a live game. This is something that they're going to do asynchronously, and that's what's great about quizzes is that we can assign it to Google Classroom, and we don't have to worry about students all starting at the same time. So you do have that option, and that's starting a live quiz if you want it to be a game-like feel in the classroom. But we can also do it so that students are doing it individually, and we can see at the end what the statistics look like when students finish it, and maybe there's a couple questions that we need to really make sure that we go over or make another quiz about those specific questions. I'm gonna click on the right purple button that says asynchronous learning, assign homework. I'm gonna make my deadline tomorrow at noon. I'm gonna click then assign. And this is where I'm going to link my Google Classroom. So you can see that we have the invite code that's here, but we're not gonna need it if it's inside of Google Classroom already. So underneath where we have the copy link, you can see classroom. And when I click on it, you're gonna see all kinds of different classrooms that I have pop up. 
I'm gonna choose the one that I want. I'm gonna click next and then I'm gonna choose that classroom and I can title the assignment once again or keep the title the same. I can add a description and then I can choose now or pick a custom date. And when I choose pick a custom date, I'm gonna choose the same day that I want it to end maybe just a little bit of time beforehand. So I'm going to choose 1130. So they have from 1130 till basically noon to complete this half hour worth of time. I'm gonna keep the grading as default, but you can see there's many different ways that we can change the scoring method. This is gonna be out of 100 points. And then once I'm done choosing that custom date and time, I can click save. So quizzes is going to notify my students at 1130 on March 25th. Let me take you to Google Classroom and show you where the assignment is. So I'm inside of my Google Classroom. I'm going to click on classwork and you're going to see basic welding principles. If I go ahead and I open this up by clicking on edit, you're going to see that it is scheduled already for tomorrow at 1130 AM. If I need to put any other instructions, I can. The mobile version and the web version is there. You might want to get rid of the mobile version and then just click on schedule once again, especially if kids are using Chromebooks. This will go live for you automatically. You don't have to go in and open it up to make sure that you make it live. We have it scheduled at 1130 tomorrow. So at that time, it will open up as an assignment in Google Classroom for your students to complete. Hope you enjoyed this video on quizzes and please let me know if I can help in any other way by leaving comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.